this is Kara from Darling Vulgarity. So I grew up by the beach and I also lived in Austin, Texas for five years. It is still one of my favorite places in the world. I'm living by the beach again. When I first learned about coastal cowgirl style, I didn't even realize it was an aesthetic. <laughs> coastal cowgirl style is kind of like if you took boho and 70s Emmylou Harris, Jesse Coulter, outlaw country cowgirl and they had a baby and everything was sun bleached. That's the best way I can describe it. So basically it's taking really fun boho beachy looks and adding Western elements to that look. And the color palette should usually be sun bleached, lots of whites, lots of pastels. So I'm gonna do a few outfits with you today and most of it's just gonna be styling ideas that you can sort of take and adapt to what you have in your wardrobe. The first outfit I have on is a slip dress. This slip dress is from Spell and the Gypsy Collective. They are a really amazing certified B Corporation, carbon neutral organization. Boho is totally their thing and they are one of the best places to buy boho pieces. They're an Australian company, so they're also very heavily influenced by the beach. So if you're looking for an easy button for Coastal Cowgirl, check out Spell and the Gypsy Collective. They don't give me any money. I've just been wearing them for years now and I think their stuff is really cute and I appreciate their responsible environmental practices. Any slip dress will do. I would probably go with a pastel or a muted color. A vintage peach or white slip dress would look really cute. Throw a sun faded denim jacket over top. This one has embroidery, but any faded denim jacket will do. Get some turquoise jewelry out, wear your bronzer, and cowboy boots. Cowboy boots are probably the number one thing you want to invest in if you want to rock the coastal cowgirl look. This is another piece by Spell and the Gypsy Collective, and this is sort of what they're famous for, this um, hippie goes to India. It's very Indian inspired. There's paisleys and florals and jewel tones, and the dresses they make are really beautiful and really well fitting. I have had the slip dress that I just showed you and this dress for many years now. <laughs> they're both in an extra large. Nowadays, when I look at Spell's size chart, I probably need what they consider a 3X, which seems crazy. Crazy. These two fit totally fine, especially this one. I really like the way this one fits. It's a little more revealing in the back than what I am used to wearing and what I'm totally comfortable wearing. Again, I can just throw a jean jacket or a sweater over top of it. To me, this really also exemplifies that coastal cowgirl look. Take the really flowy bohemian dress, throw on a pair of cowboy boots with it, wear some of your turquoise jewelry, a little bit of bronzer, and you've got the coastal cowgirl look. For layering pieces, always go a little more casual, throw on a jean jacket, throw on a flannel. It's also got that pastel color palette, which I think works really well for Coastal Cowgirl. Maybe this dress was just drying in the sun and it faded the color ever so slightly. The sun bleached romantic look feels very Coastal Cowgirl to me. So I've been saying sun bleached pastels, whites, beiges, but for every style rule, there's a way to break it. And isn't that where the fun comes in? So I have this faded black tank top. This is by Bandit Brand. There's another brand called Midnight Rider. Midnight Rider and Bandit Brand are probably my two favorite sort of outlaw country t-shirt brands. Even though the faded black pulls a little more in the country direction, it's still that boho 70s country. And I've got it paired here with some wide leg jeans and another pair of cowboy boots. These ones are pastel. Always wear a belt. Tuck in your shirt, wear a belt. It just looks more put together. This particular belt is a floral. It is from Peru. It was a gift and I really love it. Still got the turquoise jewelry on. And then I've added the floral headscarf to just add a little more styling and a little more girliness to the outfit. So this is another option for a coastal cowgirl look. Cut off jean shorts are an absolute staple in the coastal cowgirl wardrobe. I'm gonna show you two different ways to style them. The first one looks similar to the wide leg jean styling, except we've got the cutoffs. We've got a just braided leather belt. I think I got this one in the thrift store. Um, another country graphic tee. This one is from Midnight Rider. It's in this, I think they call it dirty white like a t-shirt that's been washed a million times and isn't really white anymore. It's this color white, so it feels very authentic. Um, and then I actually have a matching lace kimono that goes with it. You could also do a brighter floral kimono. The combination of the longer kimono or longer duster with the jean shorts, belt, and a graphic tee. Again, I've kept the turquoise jewelry. I've added some pink pearls. The pastel cowboy boots are still here. 
So you've got the country lived in feel, the breezy boho beachy feel faded by all the time that you spend in the sun. Last but not least, you can do coastal cowgirl with a button up. This is one of Selkie's big blouses. I liked this because I think the floral print adds a little bit more femininity, but you can also just use a regular white blouse or something in a pastel shade or a light neutral tone. Pair it again with your cutoff shorts to balance the formal and informal and the balance of the clean, crisp button up with the dirty cowboy boots adds another really fun juxtaposition that really gets that unique coastal cowgirl look across. So again, some go-to brands to capture this look are Spell, Bandit Brand, and Midnight Rider for graphic tees and then scour your local thrift store for things like an old pair of Levi's that you can turn into cutoffs, braided belts, old graphic tees, raid your mom's closet for her turquoise jewelry, and invest in a pair of cowboy boots. I promise you will not regret it. They are so much fun. <laughs> that is all the coastal cowgirl knowledge I have to impart upon you today. If you liked this video, leave me a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.